Oftentimes people will ask me, how did you find that geocache? And how did you even know there was one there? And how did you find it? Let me show you how I did it and how I bookmarked that cache for future reference coming up on Cache Canada. I was just sitting on the couch uh, scrolling through videos on YouTube on my phone and I came across this one video in LaGrange, Kentucky where a train, a free train, goes right through the... Here, oh, just watch this. I thought that was really cool and something I'd like to see for myself. And then I thought, hmm, I wonder, is there a geocache there? And how can I find it? Well, I do know it's in LaGrange, Kentucky from the video. So let's take a look at LaGrange, Kentucky. So you can do this search on Google Maps or uh, Google Earth. I'm going to do it on Google Earth because I think it looks pretty cool. Watch this. So I, I type in LaGrange, Kentucky and zoom in and let's go. Zoom in, in zooming in. And there we go. The town of LaGrange, Kentucky. And then we zoom in and we can see the main street and the railway going straight down the middle. Now the question is, are there geocaches there? And are they related to that train going down the middle of the street? Let's take a look. So what we need to do is to go to geocaching.com. You can also do this on your phone, but I'm going to show you on the computer. So we go to the main geocaching page. We hit play. We're going to view map. And then I'm going to zoom out from my home location. And then I'm going to go down to Kentucky. So we're going to zoom in. So I know from my search on Google Maps or Google Earth that LaGrange is just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And if you have a chance to go to Louisville, Kentucky to go geocaching or sightseeing, you will not be disappointed. It is an amazing place to geocache. So let's zoom in to uh, LaGrange, Kentucky, all the way down to the main street. Here we go. And we're going to hit up in the upper corner there where it says Browse Caches. That will open up all the geocaches available anywhere. So here we go. There's one right there. It says First Stop on Main Street. But this is one that piqued my interest. It says No Train Horn Zone. So we click on that one, and you can click on the description, and it talks about the public train observation tower that's available to watch as the train, the daily train, goes right down the middle of the town. Now what I do is I scroll up and I go over here to add to a list. So what I've done is created a bookmark list that has geocaches that have piqued my interest for future travel. So I will go to that and I will add it right here. It says interesting caches to bookmark. Now I want to show you that list. So I'm going to go over here and I'm using the old dashboard uh, just so you know. So that's what this looks like. And I'm going to go to lists. In lists, it will be the first one that pops up on the top of my list because that's the last place I added a geocache to. Now I'm going to go right here to map the list. So I'm going to show you the list that comes up. Here is all the geocaches that I've added to our interesting places to go in Canada and the USA. So I can zoom in and then there will be LaGrange, Kentucky. When I plan a road trip, I take a look at this list and the map and I show all the places that I've said were a good place to go. So when I create a road trip, I consult this list and map to see, hey, if I'm going to be driving near one of the ones I've bookmarked, what was it and is it worthwhile putting onto my road trip? I hope you enjoyed this little view on how you figure out where these places are and how to find them and how to bookmark a geocache for future reference. Thanks for watching and where will geocaching take you? I wonder, where else could we go? Hmm. Well, this looks like a good spot. Happy geocaching.